Okay, so now back to where we were before. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect the Bosch Allen to our virtual machine. So on our virtual machine, uh, we, we're logged in. We can type in IPA. And underneath here, you can see our uh, IP address under INET. So mine right now is 172.16.40.244. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in on the Bosch Allen. So on the Bosch Allen here, I'm going to settings and then advanced. I'm going to type in the advanced settings code. Click on the network tab here and go to server. And it's good to uh, keep in mind right now I'm plugged in for the Welsh Allen to the same network as my laptop. So I don't need to worry about um, configuring uh, wireless. But if you're going to do wireless, uh, you would do that through the radio option here. And then later on through the settings where you choose your authentication type as what would match your uh, access point. I'm going to go to server. And I'm going to go to host. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go to direct EMR connection. Click on that. And then I'm going to change the host address to match our virtual machine. So that matches the IP address of our virtual machine. What I can do is I can hit test network connection. And you can see it's done two tests and both come up, have come up as successful. So I just went ahead and took my blood pressure. And uh, at this point, I'm going to enter in some of the patient information. So I'm going to enter in the first name as just last name first, and then first. And the rest of these fields, for the most part, are not going to be carried over, but we can enter in patient ID, and I just enter in something for room number, bed number. Okay. I'm going to click OK. And now I can hit save. And it will save the data into the Welsh Allen. And now if I go to review, see so I have a couple different records already here, but I can click on the one I just made and then send that over to our server. So just click the check mark there and I hit send. Click OK.